Hello everyone, this is Pat from youlearnoffice.com with another example of absolute and relative referencing but also by using the if function. So it may be the first time that you're using if so let's see how it's gonna work out for this example. Before we start we got Paul, Peter and Mary which are salesperson for our company and this is the amount of sales they've made for the last three months. Now the way it works out for the sales if if they make more than $200,000 in sales, they're going to get a commission of 15% on the sales. Otherwise, they're just getting 5%. So the threshold in this case is $200,000. If they're getting less than that, it's 5%. If they're getting equal or more than $200,000 in sales, they're getting 15%. Let's see how it works out here for our first example. We're going to write a very simple function with the if and afterwards we're going to see about absolute and relative cell referencing. Just make the if function first and maybe the first time you're using if also and it's also one of the most powerful functions you'll find in Excel because contrary to most other functions this one is flexible. If something happens you got one result. If something else happens you may have another result. So for example if an employee works for a company you may have insurance or you may have some benefits that you wouldn't otherwise have and also you can play with other options if our inventory is full we may have to pay extra to move some inventory to another warehouse so this is the kind of thing you have to look out and you can say to excel if such a thing happen that's how you should behave or that's how you should calculate it and that's one of the best thing you don't have to do it you give out the rules to Excel and it's gonna play them out according to what you put in the if functions so let's start with the if I'm gonna start with equal if there are a couple of functions that start with if but I'm gonna just use the standard one here and I could press the tab button right next to the Q to select the function or I'm just gonna open the parentheses you see under the function you have the list of parameters of the list of arguments as Excel calls them that you need to make the function works actually there's three the condition that you need the logical test what happens when this condition is true and what happens when it's false so let's see what I need here as I said if the sales are equal or above to two hundred thousand dollars you're getting a fifteen percent commission otherwise you're getting just a five percent commission one of the things when you create a model you don't want to put the values in the function you want them to reference them to cells in your model because what happens if you want to change a value and say I, I don't want to give a 5% commission I want to give a 7% commission am I going to change every formula or do I just need to change a value in a single cell so it makes everything a lot faster to change never ever put a fixed or variable values in your formulas always refer to the values in a cell it's going to make it a lot faster to change your model if you need to otherwise you'll have to change every single formula and check every single formula never put constant or variable values in your formula please don't you're going to be regretting it afterwards if you do so let's see with the if formula here my condition is if the sales I'm making is bigger or equal to my threshold which is B4 I could change that afterwards you know then there, there's the other rub uh, I'm gonna be using a semicolon in my case for the argument separator or the parameters separator let's see in your case if you're using a period for your decimal point you're gonna be using a comma for the argument separator if you're using a comma for your decimal point when you're writing values well you're going to be using a semicolon to separate the arguments in your function if in my case I'm using a semicolon in your case you may have to use a comma to separate every argument so just be careful when you're writing down the formula here the argument separator is very important the logical test is if the commission is equal or bigger than before 
which is two hundred thousand dollars well then you're getting 15 percent commission so what am i going to do well i'm going to say well there you go that's the 15 percent commission there i'm just going to select it and i'm going to multiply it by the monthly sales there you go so if b10 is bigger than equal than b4 then my commission multiplied by b10 otherwise it's five percent multiplied by my commission which is, is still b10 there you go and i'm gonna finish out by closing the parentheses and i should be good let's review the formula before i press enter if the commission is equal or bigger than two hundred thousand dollars then you're getting 15 percent of my sales otherwise you're getting five percent of the sales sounds fine to you perfect so just press enter and there you go so five percent of hundred thousand dollars is five thousand and that's good now when you're creating a model the best thing you could do is be able to copy a formula and reuse it but sometimes you have to be very careful about absolute and relative cell referencing and you're going to see the result in a second here so i'm just going to use the uh, fill handle which is the small box in the lower left cell here and when i place my cursor on top of it i get a thin black plus sign i press on the left mouse button and move down and you're going to see my formula that i wrote won't work now let's see why it won't work so let's go see paul and i press f2 and there you see now if b11 well that's the sales for paul that's perfect but let's see the rest equal a bigger or equal to b5 Ooh, five percent that's not right uh b7 well that's empty that won't that's that should be 15 percent so look what happened when i copied my formula down all the references also went down now that's perfect for my sales here that's not so good for my threshold or my five and fifteen percent commission they're all all of whack so i need to change that formula here so i'm going to go back to the original formula and look what i need to do i need to fix the threshold the commission five and fifteen percent commission i'm going to copy that formula down which means i'm going to pass from 16 to 17 to 18 and also i will have to copy that formula to the right for february and march so i do need to fix both the column and the row so let's see here i'm going to just select b4 i could by myself place a dollar sign up front of the b and in front of the four to fix this whether i copy it a million times it will always look for the b column and always for row number four and i need to do that also for the other commissions i could write them again or i could use the f4 key to cycle through all the four possibilities completely relative completely absolute referencing i'm fixing the row or i'm fixing the column or none and then back again to fixing both and i'm going to do the same thing for the five percent commission i'm going to fix both i don't want it fix b10 because i do want it to move down and i do want to move it to the right for the next month the only thing i need is to fix my threshold and my commissions here and i do need to fix them horizontally and vertically so that's the thing i needed to do here so i'm going to copy that formula again i'm going to use the fill handle once more go on the lower right move it down now the thing about the fill handle is that i can use it horizontally vertically but not both at the same time so that's why i'm releasing the mouse button here and then i'm going to be able to press it again move it to the right and there we go i got my sales commission so let's see if it works peter here never makes it above two hundred thousand. he always get a five percent commission now in this case paul at the very end moves from five percent to fifteen percent so fifteen percent of two hundred thousand is thirty thousand that's fine and mary in every case is always in the fifteen percent range so three hundred thousand dollars at fifteen percent that's forty five thousand 
there you go that's how you can use the if function and you see whether they're above or below 200,000 they're getting a different commission and also you need to think about absolute and relative cell referencing when it's time to copy the formula and that's what this demonstration is all about uh, so this is Pat from youlearnoffice.com I hope you enjoyed this formula I hope you're gonna use absolute and relative referencing and see the power of the if function it's very powerful it's very interesting so I hope I see you for the next videos